Generic greetings and welcome back to Learn to Fly 3. Today's beverage is a freshly made cup of green tea. So in a previous video of Learn to Fly, I randomly stumbled across this game and did a bit of an unprompted video of it because I was quite enjoying it and people wanted to see some more. So this is that. They wanted to complete this scenario, which is fair point. So let's do just that. So you can see we've still got the ejector seat, the grenade launcher. Well, technically it's a grenade that launches us. So yeah, uh, we've also got the rockets and a Pulse jet. So I want to see what I can do in terms of the ejector seat. Can we sell this and upgrade it to something else? Um, probably is the answer, but I'm also thinking with 11 generic units of currency, we are probably best maybe doing a bit of a takeoff here and seeing how we get on. So let's see if we can launch this grenade and green. Yep, that is sadly just out. Oh, well, that's fine. Just uh, do what we can. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen the previous video, this is a game where you are launching a penguin into space, specifically heading to the moon. We have to get to 200,000 feet, and I think our highest is just over 100,000, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just see if we can actually get to the moon in uh, in this video. There's actually a lot of love for this game. I didn't realise just how many people uh, had played it and um, how sort of popular it was. It also seems to be going through a bit of a resurgence as well. Uh, a couple of other uh, people on the YouTubes playing it as well, which is probably why it was spammed in my feed for what I thought was no reason, but there you are. Anyway, on to the third stage here. We're up to 76 uh, K and approaching 80, yeah, just passing 80 actually, and we're probably going to get to, I would guess, around about 100,000, I think. So, because of the takeoff, the original launch wasn't that great, but hopefully with, with uh, this pulse rocket and with the and with the then ejector seat, we should get to, I even get to 115,000 with the ejector seat. And no, 109,000. Well, that's, that is reasonable. I like the way that the wings are bolted onto the penguin, which is <laughs> an interesting one. Doesn't look like we're going to get the best, oh, we got best altitude, best airtime, oh, best everything. Okay, that's, um, that's really good. Right, let's go ahead and replace the ejector seat then. And we've got the jet, the bullet, the escape button. We've actually got a space shuttle which is actually quite heavy, so I might... Do I go with the bullet first? Mm, no, I think we actually are going to go with... We're going to go with the space shuttle. So this is heavy, which is a bit of an issue. So I'm going to upgrade it as best I can, and let's see what we can do. Um, actually, go back to the shop here, because I want to put... Oh, I want to put another, maybe, some... What's that? Dodges on? Mm, no, oh, there's also a little guy there. Maybe spin boost is no pressurized gas, perhaps. Can't be stopped once started, but more eco-friendly than you think. Let's just upgrade that to to that level there, and then click ready, and let's see what this is like. So there's our oh, it says Vostok one as well. So let's see if we can launch the grenade. And is this a different? It seems like a different form by uh, size, but anyway, yes, I think it is because of the. Uh, the size of the rocket. So we already got to 34k, but oh, as you can clearly see, this thing is really, <laughs> really heavy. Okay, so we're not going to be beating any. Um, <laughs> we're not going to be beating any, any height uh, records on this one because this thing is so heavy compared to the other stuff that, yeah, basically we're not going to get very far at all. If we, if we touch 70k I would be surprised you can see with this rocket we are only getting about seven in terms of our oh, in, in terms of our thrust as soon as these rockets go on though it's actually thrusting it quite well so we can either downgrade the rocket to a slightly different one or most likely what I'll do is I'm gonna sell I think we'll keep the capsule that we've got because it is the best one that we can have and I think we'll upgrade the boosters and the uh, the other uh, like ancillary stuff. We've got over 80k, so that's actually not bad, and it's a minute's flight time, but it's those other smaller boosters, they just didn't do anything for us. So we'll have no altitude, great, uh, no, altitude wasn't good, airtime was okay, yeah, we've still got a bit of money there. So we're going to replace these rockets, so we'll sell them, and you can see we've got RPGs, monster engine, a ramjet, and a shuttle reactor. So what's the difference between a ramjet and the rocket? Um... Min speed. I oh, got minimum speed. Uh, max lift. Max lift. Max lift. Uh, I think. I think ram jets. Or do we want to go for pulse jets? Tell you what, we'll upgrade the pulse jets across the board, so we'll have pulse jets on the whole thing, and then upgrade them to. Hopefully, 
well, there's actually a fairly poor level. So, first stage, second, third. So the idea is it's better as it goes up the stages. Okay, and we also got pressurised gas, which I'll just, might as well put some points in there. Okay, let's see how this one goes. So, we're going to fling this, and fling! Yeah, that's great. And boom! There we go, that's launched us. And then we'll activate our boosters. Um, that's already taken us to 33k. Uh, you can see one of the boosters, it just is on. There's no option. <laughs> as soon as you activate it, it just goes on and it stays on. So I am, oh my good grief, so this ramjet here is not capable of moving us at all that level. But the next one, however, is. So there we go. So that is starting to increase our speed somewhat. Obviously, I am feathering this with the with a little extra side boosts that pop up. And yeah, that's all right. Let's keep our speed at a reasonable level. Not when you hit a hot air balloon, though. Um, again, we're not going to get any uh, height records off this, I don't think. But we are onto the last jet, and we're on 42 seconds. So I'm, I'm very much hoping that we can get, like a, at least a, a flight time bonus. No, we need to fly another 15 seconds, and I don't think it's going to happen. Speed is good though, and we'll probably get 80k off it. 81. 82, just tip the 82, and we're on 103 again. Okay, so it's just a, it's just a money thing, really. You just get as much, uh, as much cash as we can. There we go. So that's just under 3,000. We did got best air time there. So we're gonna upgrade these pulse jets because obviously they are fairly garbage across the board, and that's fine. This pressurized gas will bring to. Oh, we can bring that to the. To the max speed there. I mentioned about like you can get upgrades, so you can use these BPs here to go for like smartwatch, uh, <laughs> the rollers, which I quite like, and then the high tech one and sleek. And some of these do remind me of <laughs> that one there. That's pretty good. Some of them do remind me of like Kerbal and stuff like that. I mean, just cancel that one. Um, other, other, <laughs> other strange rocket games are available let's just see about getting this in the great zone which it is and boom full send bones mend let's go and is that like a little is that a passenger i don't know if that's a passenger there it seems to be i've activated the the boosters now that we're on with the first stage because the first and second stages are the weakest of the the boosters here but i'm feeling that Honestly, with what we've got here, these boosters, I don't know if we're going to be able to reach uh, an altitude thing. I think just adding all of this weight on top has really hindered our our progress, our ascent. Obviously, flight time will hopefully be good, but we shall see. Just uh, heading up to past 65 here and activate side ones just so between the first, uh, the third and um, second and third stages, should I say. We uh, keep going, so that's fine. Passing, passing nearly 80k now, which is good. I'm just uh, going to go with the wind as well to head us over here and keep activating the stages. We might get 100k off this. In fact, it does feel that way. I think, I think actually we will get 100k, and also probably a decent flight time as well. So the upgrades that we've put on are certainly worth it. And yeah, we just passed 100k, and our flight time is better than we've ever had. So brilliant. That's that's all progress. But the thing is, we have to get to two hundred thousand. Uh, we have to get to um, two hundred thousand. So we got airtime. Uh, we've got a bit of bonus earnings there. But it really is just leveling these up. Uh, this increases top speed. Um, possibly. Do we change the launcher? What can we get instead of that? We've got the power cannon. We've got the explosives, alien and nuclear reactor. I'm going to go with the nuclear reactor because it is like my favorite. As I said uh, previously. It's just one of my favourites. Let me just upgrade this one and pressurised gas to max level and also fins. Why not? There we go. And let's see this. So this one, you don't have to do anything. It just says, oh yeah, world's best penguin. And he spits it on the control panel and then the reactor goes thermal and nuclear. And uh, off we go. Um, and we went to uh, 31k. So it's not as good as the grenade, but it doesn't require you to get it in that sweet spot. So yeah, getting that seems to seems to be okay. I don't think we'll get a height, like a big height um, record off this one. It's unlikely. There's a second stage activated. Intermittently activating these little side boosters, which admittedly, um, these are not that great because we've been not really upgrading them. Just going with the wind here over this side. 
just knocked a pelican out. Bit of a... Let's say roadkill. Not technically roads. Where we're going, we do definitely don't need roads. So we're up to 80,000 and climbing, and climbing well. As soon as the wind stops, because it's blowing very strongly to this side. I'm going to have to activate boost and go straight up. So we'll get... I don't think we'll get 100k off it. No, I think because the wind was blowing so much, we were quite diagonal for a while. Uh, 1 minute 7 and a half seconds, so not too bad. Well, that green tea is still quite hot, but that is a best air time, best in class. So, um, nuclear reactor, one, t what, one upgrade only. Uh, these boosters, if I sell them, what else could I get? I still get multi-rockets, and I've got the bell nozzle as well. I'm going to sell this pressurised gas, and I'm going to get... I'm actually get nothing. Quite frankly, I just want to upgrade these rockets. I do think they are... I think they're of some use. Take off. So this is <laughs> mixing the chemicals together, and... Oh, yeah, yeah they, got the, they got it wrong. Um, so we're up to 39k, which is pretty good. I'm guessing because of the weight reduction that's helped us out a bit there's many builds you could go for i didn't really sort of think about it too much because it's not really a game that you have to think too much about but on on reflection you can go with a quite light and very boosty build or a build that's about launching you up as much as possible using that original uh, using the um starting launch system and work on it that way and there's many ways like i say you can can go about it so i'm just trying to thrust with the wind and keep it about a 45 degree angle to keep our speed up looks like we are passing passing 75k and are onto our third stage and this feels like it's going to be good i'm just burning through all of these secondary ones passing 90 now passing 95 we're going to get over 100k whether or not we can get a bonus, I don't know. Oh, come on! <laughs> and there's a helicopter there. Hundred and just just shy of 106k, and I don't think we got a a record for our flight time as well. But that is still pretty good. And oh, best daily interest. Oh, good for us, I guess. Um, right, two grand two grand that will very much help us out and then get these again these pulse rockets i could get another a rocket here maybe it is worth going for the the f1 bell nozzle don't know what it's going to be like but there you are you can see this is this is where it drops right down where we had our yeah a bit of a mix up and there we go there's us launching quite well and that's to 38 k and then we'll activate our side boosters and work on it Drags all fine. Just trying to keep us. Oh, I was going to say try to keep from hitting things, and then we rammed straight into a guy uh, on a hang glider. There's our next stage. Going straight up now. Up to 66k. A lot of strong winds, and we've hit a couple of things, so I'm not too confident about any sort of height bonus here. I don't know if we need to get rid of the wings or not. I don't know if it's necessary. There's our side boosters just before between the stages. So we're passing 90k just as we activate our third stage. I think we're going to get a height uh, height record off this. It feels like we're going to get a height record. There's that <laughs> helicopter. I'm going to call it a Chinook. I don't know if it is, but we've passed our previous record and the flight time is six seven eight yes that is a height record and a flight time record that'll be an all-time record i think just shows you that a little increase in in the boosters there has helped us right out and best best not not max speed though there you go all right what else can we replace these with if we if we did sell them if we were going to upgrade the lot Mm. RPGs have more fuel. No, they don't. Uh, the pulse jet just lasts quite a while. I like the Banshee. They're pretty good. And the monster engine. 
See, the Banshee lasts twice as long as the Pulse Jet. And the Ram Jet is pretty good as well. Power is three. Hmm. I'm not too sure. Can we get a bell? Yeah, bell nozzle. We get a bell nozzle on there. And that's all I can afford. I can afford more fins. Why not? Let's try that. So the bell nozzle. Don't know how that works. Uh, world's best penguin. Oh, horrible beverage. And there we go. Launched. So that sent us to 36. So the weight obviously is there. So if I just, if you press W, it just puts these little side ones on. But if I, oh, but if I hold it, then the bell. Oh, right. Then the bell nozzles uh, <laughs> come out. Okay. Right. So we'll use those probably very sporadically for maybe recovering. I would assume. And there you go. On our second stage. But because of the extra weight, we're not really getting as far as we previously would. I think it was about maybe 85, 90k just as we went into the the third stage. And to be fair, we're, we're getting close to that. And there we go. We're into... 90 odd K as we enter the third stage. Let's activate the bell. Oh yeah, them bell jets. But there's not much, you don't get much fuel with them. I think there's achievement to get over 100, uh, 100 speeds. I don't know what measurement of <laughs> measurement it uses, but I'm sure there's a achievement for it. All right, there's the bell engines used up and we might get, no, we've got actually probably a, Probably a tight bonus, maybe? 124,000? Yeah, we did. Uh, we didn't get the airtime, though. But that's okay. Mm, I'm very tempted to just get another pulse jet. <laughs> or maybe... I oh, should upgrade these pulse jets, so they're all level 8. So we just, we're all on sort of equal footing, really. I don't think there's any point in getting the pulse jet now. I think just launch with that. Oh, they still haven't done the, the best ones for those. So, yeah, we, we hit about 36 and then stop, and now we've got our slightly better pulse jets. But every attempt we make, we are making improvements. I think, see, I'm just activating these little side ones as well. And any second, activate the side ones and the bell jets, and that'll get us through that. There we go. But even that little thrust is used maybe a quarter of the maximum speed. Still going. Still going. And there we go. Right, this is where we activate everything. So, bell jets side ones there's that used up and just passing 119k this will be a height record if not a flight time record no I think we might get a flight time off it as well yeah 112.8 well uh, 1 minute 12.8 and just shy of 132 and there we go Max speed, though, we're still not getting there. We'll have to level up our shuttle for that. So I'm going to get another pulse jet, and I'm going to put as many points into it as possible. We got it at level 7, so I'm going to put that to the top. So that's going to be the first level. And you can see <laughs> our... That's locked there. Total weight is 67.8. I reckon with that pulse jet, we're going to get a very, very good... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoops, dropped your uranium rod, and boom. Um, other nuclear fishing material is available. Yeah, but I'm thinking that the with the addition of this rocket, we should hopefully get. Oh, look at that! It's 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 because of the weight. It's uh, actually not that good. There we go. Need to upgrade it a bit more. Obviously, adding on these is just adding more weight. But I'm hoping with just an addition of a brand new engine, because they do they drop off. I think they might drop off. Um, that hopefully will allow us to climb to about 140,000 on this one, but we shall see, we shall see. I've already burned through a sizable number of our, of our little side rockets. Still got the, the bell engines. Let's 
just see. So activate and use those ones. Well, we're, we're already... We've just passed 100k and we're only just onto our... Onto our technically third stage. So the addition of, uh, the addition of another stage is helping us out massively. So what I'm going to do is wait to about there and then activate those engines just to see us through so we don't slow down and then there we go. And we're already past our previous record as we go into the fourth stage. We might get 140,000. Yeah, we might get 140,000 off this. 39, 140,000, yeah. Might we get 150? There's a blimp there. 150! Didn't think we'd get that. 1 minute 33, 34, 5. 1 minute 35.2. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And time well spent. Don't know what it is, but as you can see, pretty good. Speed isn't ideal. I'm going to get that pulse jet upgraded to that level and get our nuclear launch solution system leveled up as well. I'm going to go to the bonus shop because we have 160 BP. That increases thrust of stages over levels. Mm. Oh, I can over level things. Use the effect of colliding. Top speed multiplier. Gravity multiplier. <laughs> Reduce gravity. Ah, you can replay cutscenes in low definition glory. I'm going to polish it. There you go. We've polished it to increase our top speed. <laughs> right. So this is a... I was going to say a better reactor, but to be fair, well, we're not really using it as a reactor. Um, oh my good grief. Right, so 155 is where we seem to have topped out there, which was brilliant. I'm going to guesstimate we're going to reach 170,000 off this run. As long as we don't hit anything, then we should be all right. He says as he just hits a, a bird. And then a guy in a hang, gl hang glider. Then there's an air balloon. Passing 85k. There's a drone of some kind or a rocket out of control. And... Passing 100k as we are still on the second stage burn. Ready for de uh, decoupling and separation. Yep, and there we go on to the third stage. Still got a full bell engine booster ready to go. I'm going to give it a bit of welly. Let's go. Yes. Speed's good. Just use it. <laughs> I'll, I won't, I'll leave it there. I'm not going to go anymore because I want to use it for the stage. There's an airplane and there we go. Activate. So we're going to pass just past 150,000. I said 170. I'm still sticking with it. There's a fighter jet of some kind. Spy plane. Oh, it looks like a fighter jet. It wasn't a U-2. There's a <laughs> shuttle of some kind. Oh, wow. We are just passing 177,000. It's not going to be long before we're to where we need to be. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Bell nozzle. Hmm... I think realistically we're not upgrading the we're not switching out these pulse jets now are we I think we're sticking with what we've got I mean we could swap them out with different engines but it seems that we're gonna be sticking with them for now so we'll get them upgraded I reckon I'll say conservatively five five to get to where we need to go we need to get 200,000. I think that'll be reasonable. Next stage. There we go. That's good. <laughs> a little bit of the little bell engine jets there. Remember, these are the better ones that we're on because the first two stages are the fully upgraded ones you can see on the left-hand side because of the uh, different look of it. 
So we'll be doing better on these ones than we will further up. I don't know if it simulates atmosphere, so the higher you go up, the easier it is. Uh, but there you are. My atmosphere and gravity, I don't know if that's simulated. I, I'm going to assume not. <laughs> Perhaps wrongly. Passing 130k, uh, probably a third of the way through the third stage burn. We've got a lot of wind shear as well. And hoping to pass 150 by the time we get into our fourth stage. We have done that. Activate the side jets just to keep us going. Keep that. Yep, that's fine. And, oh yeah, we should easily get 170 off this. We might even get 180. I'm fairly confident we'll get 180 off it. See all the background is changing there. And, are we going to do this in this run? Oh, seven, six. Ugh. Reaching space. We didn't make it. So close, though. So close. And with 12,000, I think we've, I think we've done it. Upgrade these two and get the space shuttle to increase our top speed. Maybe, the, yeah, the F1 bell nozzle. That should be it. Bonus shop. Wind strength. Mm. Increase stage and boost power for a limited time after takeoff. Let's get that. That's it. I'm fairly confident that's it. Unless there's something horribly calamitous. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that, that's the best one. <laughs> Unless there's something horribly calamitous, we should make this now. We're already passing 60 just off the explosion of the, the, the launcher. So that's pretty good. We've got four fully upgraded pulse jets. We have the little side boosters, the mini boosters, and the, the bell nozzle booster. There you go. And we are climbing. Coming close to a hundred K now and only just halfway through our second stage burn. That should be it then really. Obviously I'm just running out of these little side jets but we've still got the the bell nozzle to keep us in play. Bit of wind shear. Passing 125. These fins, I think, help us out as well. If, if we didn't have those, we would be all over the place. And a, a lot of the upgrades that I've got, that I've picked, are to reduce stuff that you bang into. Oh, okay, speaking of bang into, we just hit that blimp there, or whatever it was. So that's not going to help us out. So here we go. This is... No guts, no glory. Full send. Are we going to reach it? Because we hit that, it slowed us down. We're passing... Passing 180. I think we'll do it. Reaching space in 10,000. 4, 3, 2. We're going to burn into it. And there it is. <laughs> and off we go. That's it. We have successfully escaped the boundary of Earth. And we're off to the moon. <laughs> the penguin is off to the moon. And I really hope we've got some sort of descent module. Nope. No, it just <laughs> hit it at an unreasonable speed. But uh, we survived worse. Okay, so that is technically a completion of the campaign. And there's a hedgehog backpack thing that goes back. That's one of the launch modules we could have had. Okay, so I'm going to skip that because uh, congratulations, complete the story mode in 33 days. Go to our items and we get these packs. So we've got uh, penguin power booster pack, uh, rocket science, uh, machine madness, and knowledge is power. Let's do knowledge is power. So, we get some packs, which is bonus points, rocket boost, balloons, anyway, just new items. And sandbox unlocked, try it in the new game menu. But there you go. 
that is and has been a bit of learn to fly three people wanted to complete it and we've now completed it if we were to start again obviously we do have the option to do sandbox or story and just go for that just go right it's so no we've been reaching 200,000 the next one above it is more than double that at 500,000 and then we've got five times more than that and then we have to <laughs> we have to reach four million but yeah there you are either way it's like I say quite a fun uh free little game that uh yeah, I quite enjoy. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I said in the previous episode that people want to see it complete. So there you are. We have got to the moon with a penguin, which is a sentence I never thought I'd read out. Either way, <laughs> hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for different ways to play, different uh, directions or features, etc., or get more games like this that you would like to see or would recommend personally, then by all means, let us know in the comments. As always, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.